In times of war, artists are documentarians. They are also propaganda creators and memorial designers. Rutgers University's Zimmerly Art Museum delves into its collection to show the many sides of art and conflict with picturing war. World War I anniversaries are going on right now between 1914 and 1918. And I've just found that we had all of these World War I um, works that had almost never been out. The exhibition covers conflicts from the Civil War through World War II. It's in the Civil War that newspapers start hiring artists to go to battle sites because people were so hungry for news. Artists acting as documentarians is a theme in the show. One prominently featured artist is photographer Edward Steichen. He served in World War I taking aerial photographs for uh, the, the army in France. After the war, Steichen made a name for himself in New York as chief photographer for Vogue and Vanity Fair. He was said to be the best known and highest paid photographer in the world. And then came World War II. He was 62 and he wanted to re-enlist. But the army would not let him officially re-enlist. So the Navy approached him and they said, in not so many words, they said, will you create an advertising campaign? The Naval Aviation Photographic Unit was born. Steichen told his photographers, to focus on the men, we'll always have the machines. We won't always have the men. Another theme is life on the home front and the roles women played. We have images of them working in munitions plants, we have, you know, plowing the field, working as railroad engineers, and, you know, and looking very confident and able. It's the atrocities and sorrows of war, though, that are most reflected in the exhibition. Seeing the faces of those affected across conflicts, nations, and decades can give an emotional layer to history book facts. And in Javisco's eyes, that's a cross-curricular benefit for university students. Just as we talk about like the impersonalized aspect of war now, I think there is that same mindset for artists and photographers working um, in World War I and World War II that if we don't capture this, who is going to know? Javisco says the show is a little grim in nature, but she thinks that's good in a way. It's a reminder, she says, of how war is life-changing and its effects lasting. Picturing War is open to the public and runs through July 5th. In New Brunswick, I'm Maddie Orton for NJTV News.